Right Starry Messenger by Peter Cease. For hundreds of years, most people thought the Earth was the center of the universe, and the sun and the moon and all the other planets revolved around it. They did not doubt or wonder if this was true. They just followed tradition. Then one man looked at the sky and wondered, what if things are not as everybody believes them to be? Maybe the Earth and the other planets move around the sun. He wrote down his observations, but he did not talk about them, and he did not publish them for a long, long time. He knew he could not prove they were true. It would take someone else to do that. In those days, Italy was a country where many great artists, writers, musicians, and scholars lived. In the city of Pisa, a little boy was born with stars in his eyes. His parents named him Galileo. Galileo thrived and he grew. In many ways, he was like any other healthy child, but he was more curious than most, and stars were always on his mind. He studied mathematics and physics and turned out to be a very bright young man who entertained and amused people with his brilliant experiments and observations. Galileo is our star, the people would say. Then one day, Galileo heard about a new instrument for seeing things far, far away. He figured out how it worked and made one for himself. Then he turned it to the sky. Night after night, he gazed through his telescope and wrote down everything he observed. Then he published his observations in a book which he called The Starry Messenger. Galileo was amazed by what he could see with his telescope. People read Galileo's book and they became inspired. He made maps of the heavens and dedicated the four newly discovered stars of Jupiter to his patron and ruler, the Grand Duke of Tuscany, Cosimo II. Soon, Galileo was famous. More and more people celebrated the stars, and they celebrated Galileo and his discoveries with statues and parades and spectacular events. His fame grew, and the celebrations became extravaganzas. But now the church began to worry. Galileo had become, had become too popular. By upholding the idea that the earth was not the center of the universe, he had gone against the Bible and everything that ancient philosophers had taught. He had gone against the church. Galileo was ordered to stop believing what he could see with his own two eyes. He was summoned to appear before the highest ruler of the land, the Pope. Galileo was afraid. He knew that people had suffered terrible torture and punishment for not following tradition. It could happen to him. He was tried in the Pope's court and everyone could see that the stars had left his eyes. Galileo was condemned to spend the rest of his life locked in his house under guard, but he still had stars on his mind and no one could keep him from thinking about the wonders of the skies and the mysteries of the universe. And even when he went blind, no one could keep him from passing his ideas along to others until the day he died. But still, the ideas lived on. Finally, more than 300 years later, the leaders of the very church that had punished Galileo, Galilei, pardoned him and they admitted that he was probably, in fact, surely and absolutely right. The end.